Hello everyone. In this short video tutorial, you will learn how to make a simple spreadsheet in Excel in just 5 minutes. If this video seems too fast or slow to you, then you can easily choose the playback speed that suits you. I wish you a pleasant viewing. So, I'm starting. First of all, we will analyze the easiest and fastest way. Go to the Insert tab and click on the icon called Table. A small window will appear in front of you. Now you need to specify the range of cells that your table will consist of. In order to do this, you need to click on the cell from which the table will start and without releasing the mouse button, stretch the area exactly the way you want. Do not be afraid to make a mistake, because all inaccuracies can be easily corrected if necessary. So, having decided on the range, press the Enter key. Now it remains to choose the table style. Pay attention to the tab that appears under the name Table Constructor. In it, you can quickly add or remove the filter button. Or, for example, display the final row and so on. And a little to the right, clicking on this icon will open a menu for selecting the appearance of the table. It remains only to choose the parameters that are suitable for you and you can start filling in. However, this method of creating tables is not ideal. In the future, you may encounter various limitations when working with data in such a table. Therefore, I recommend mastering the second method of creating tables, which we will discuss in more detail. First of all, select a range of cells. Please note that this time you do not need to go to the Insert tab. Next, click on the arrow next to the Border Selection tool. That's what he looks like. In the list that opens, select the option All Borders. Now I will show you the process of creating a simple table and explain in detail each of my actions. The topmost line I have in common and I will call it the sales report. I will select this row and use a special command to combine the specified cells and place their contents in the center. Now I fill in the next cell. Next, I need to specify the months. So that I don't have to type the name of each month manually, I'll just pull the lower right corner of the cell down. Thus, I used the autofill function and saved my time. Similarly, I will fill in the remaining cells of this row. As you can see, this function also works with numbers. I think you've noticed this misunderstanding at the end of the table. I made it intentionally in order to show you how to make certain adjustments. Surely you already know that most editors have the ability to undo the previous action, and Excel is no exception. If you made a mistake and want to cancel the action, just click on the arrow in the upper left part of the working window. So, I click on it and all my previous actions are cancelled. On the other hand, you can do the opposite, that is, return a previously cancelled action in the program. To do this, there is an opposite arrow. But it's even easier to use a special keyboard shortcut. Two variants of such combinations will now appear on your screen. The first is the cancellation of the action, and the second is the return of the action. Just pinch them at the same time on your keyboard. 
The more useful keyboard shortcuts you know, the easier and faster you will cope with your tasks in Excel. Next, if you need to erase something, just highlight it, right-click, select Delete, and confirm your action by clicking OK. If you accidentally forgot to add a column, then move the mouse cursor to the upper part of the workspace where the letters are indicated. Right-click and select Insert. Or you can do the opposite, that is, delete the extra column. And similarly, rows are added or deleted. The only difference is that you need to perform these actions on the left side of the document with numeric designations. So, we continue. I know that you are attentive and could not help, but notice how the text in this cell goes beyond its border and blocks the neighboring cell. This is very easy to fix. To do this, move the mouse cursor to the letter designations and set it to the right edge of the column in which your text does not fit. After that, you need to double-click on the left mouse button. Thus, the column was automatically scaled and now the text does not go beyond the boundaries of the cell. Also, you can change their size manually. This can be done with either one column or several. You can change the row sizes in the same way. OK. I keep filling out the table. Now I need to enter sales data. I will speed up this process so as not to waste your time. Done. What do you think is missing here? Perhaps I forgot to specify the currency, but this does not mean that I will have to enter it manually in each cell. Everything is much simpler. I select the area with all the numbers and then click on the right mouse button and go to the cell settings. In the first tab, I am interested in an item called currency. This is where I choose the currency I need and also remove the extra decimal places, I don't need them. Having set my values, I press the Enter key. It remains to calculate the total amount. I add one more line and write the word total. I'm adding borders, I've already shown you how to do it. But it's even better if I use the sample format option. So, I cancel the last action. And now look. I highlight the penultimate line. And click on this icon. Then, I highlight the final row. As a result, I copied the entire format of the penultimate row, including borders and other cell settings. Even the currency will now be automatically displayed in the final row. As you can see, the sample format option can be useful. It's time to do some simple calculations. Formulas are used for calculations in Excel. I just highlight the necessary data in the column, then go to the Formulas tab and select automatic sum calculation. And in order to find out the result in other columns as quickly as possible, I will use autocomplete. I told you about this function recently. Formulas can also be entered manually. You need to know how it's done. To begin with, the equal sign is put in the cell and then the formula is entered. 
You can enter numbers or select specific cells whose values you want to use for your calculation. To do this, you need to add them to the formula by simply clicking on them. After writing the formula, you need to press the Enter key. For more complex calculations, Excel has a lot of various functions. And finally, I will bring the appearance of my spreadsheet to the desired style. Just follow my actions. I will slightly enlarge the top two lines. I will increase the font of the text and make it bold. I will perform the alignment in the center. And I'll use the fill tool to visually separate the header even more from the rest of the table. Of course, in this video we have not sorted out a lot of things and you will probably have questions when you start creating your own table. As soon as 1000 subscribers appear on this channel, I will write down for you a very detailed and free lesson on working in Excel. So subscribe to the channel as soon as possible and give a thumbs up. There is still a lot of useful material ahead. I thank you for your attention. Goodbye.